How's it going guys? This is going to be an update to my how I fixed my grip safety video. I've been playing with this uh, more in depth and I have I think a more detailed answer for you guys. Uh, so before I was showing you that if you let, you know, lifted this up and then put that underneath it, uh, let me get so before I was showing you that if you got in a condition where or situation where the sear is now over the disconnect bar down here um, as opposed to like that where it's moving around uh, like that that you are okay well what really comes into play is the sear spring so what has been happening I have found is as I'm putting the sear spring in instead of putting it over everything including the sear bottom part of the sear like that you see how the top of the leftmost prong is over the sear let me see if I can point that out right here not this part but below right in there it's over that what's been happening is this okay this right here and what this is is this left prong you see how that's going underneath the sear in between the sear and the disconnector that is a no-no. That is not allowing the grip safety to work. See that? So what you have to do is make sure that when you have, when you're installing the sear spring, that it is all the way up covering you can see it on this side, on the other side, it's covered up by this leftmost sear spring prong. I don't know if that's the right word for it. That is the correct way. Having it in between the disconnector and the sear like that, that is what is causing or preventing your grip safety from working. So uh, I believe this was the missing link to this issue. Um, I can now reliably 100% get my grip safety to work when I break my gun down and put it back together just by focusing on this here and making sure that that is not in between the sear and the disconnector as it is now. So anyways guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.